Hello and welcome to yet another exciting blog of Revit 2014 updates brought to you by Katsum Technologies. Today we are going to talk something about the interoperability of robo structural an analysis with Revit Structure 2014. In Revit Structure 2014, we are seeing that the Exchange Application Program Toolkit 2014 enables users to interoperate between Robo Structural Analysis and R Revit Structure 2014. So you can see these tabs over here in the Analysis tab. I have a building, and these tabs basically helps in order to uh, link the Robo Structural Analysis software with the Revit structure model. So here the structure analysis panel contains robo structural analysis drop down. Uh, you know in this you have two tools robo structural analysis link re reinforcement code check. You can analyze this model in the cloud the result manager you can see the result explorer. So let's see how it works. Let's see how the analytical model of the structure of a building we can see is here. Uh, now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to link this uh, structure with one of the exchange application structural analysis and code checking toolkit. We can you can get this uh, you know application here from the exchange application uh, button. That is the link over here. Once you click this, the website will redirect to this particular application page. So it's a free subscription by Autodesk Revit Structure uh, in uh, 2014. Now let's see uh, how the interoperability works. I have some combination, the dead load, the live load, some beams, the concrete beams. You can see a raft footing over here and some isolated foundation. So what I'm going to do is I've installed uh, a Robo Structural Analysis Professional 2014 and I'm going to link it. So in choose the analysis tab you have this robo structural analysis drop down click the robo structural analysis tool so here I have two options in fact the send model and the update model and the update model and result we're going to send the model so here what we are going to do is this dialog box integration with robo structural analysis send options dialog box will open here we have some op uh, radio buttons over here so I'm going to select this send entire Revit project so uh, for bar and releases, you're going to use a Revit setting, execute model correction in Robo. Going to see some uh, additional options over here. You're going to use tr Robo default material or <coughs> curtain balls. We don't have transfer, use drawing models. And these are the settings that you can see. Okay, you choose the OK button. So use Autodesk Robo Structural Analysis RTD file. RTD is the Robo extension. So once you go for, uh, we're going to save this as PRJ building one go to save and uh, now it is loading in the robo structural analysis software now see uh, once this model is transferred to robo structural analysis uh, now the software will open no so i can see the software over here in the plan view this drop down i'm going to go how the 3d model looks like the load and the geometry so it looks like this you have the dead load you have the live load you have the wind load and other things so in robo uh, if you want to run analysis you're going to need to go to the analysis menu go to the analysis tab and look for what the type of analysis you're going to perform and several options are there so so I'm going to for the structural model I'm going to take the default option calculation okay so the calculation is done close it then what we need to do we're going to prepare results so we're going to take a template for how the results will uh, see let's say put in, in this case we're going to take the template 2 and okay so for all the load combinations you can take the uh, template and let's see so to check the results you can see the maps over here in the maps you can say okay the forces and the other thing the principal moments apply close so if you want to see the reactions you can see the reactions you can see other things that will mainly the plate and shell results in case of the raft you can see the you know 
uh, moment in the excess plane and other things so these are the options that basically are developed after the analysis results is done so next thing that we are going to do is we are going to update the model that we have created in Revit structure 2014 after the analysis so save the file and next what we are going to do is open the Revit structure model open the link option go to the update model and results use the structural analysis and RTD file update options so update the whole project say OK and say OK now so the select the file and you see that the updation is done so here the uh, dialog box the update results dialog box in this you find the analysis result package the model name let's say I'll write it BLDG uh, in my case it will be underscore PRJ1 analysis name let's say I'm going to say the, the uh, let's suppose it's moment and model name is let's say K A B C 1 in my case analysis name that's why I click the default option so you can see the structural analysis panel over here and uh, moment we enter here we can see the analysis updating is done uh, a lot of ch enhancements that uh, has been made in Revit structure 2014 uh, a good thing about this software is you have the interoperability and the bidirectional associativity of the uh, analytical model of uh, created in Revit structure 2014 so a lot of good things happen is happening in Revit 2014 uh, especially in the structural field uh, here is the result explorer so with the moment I go for the results I go for the building pre RJ1 analysis moment I need the reactions I need so the moment I see the reactions I will see something you know the reactions building here and then if I want to get the uh, let's suppose stresses so in my case it will be why why let's say the stresses will be seen over here you can see the stress developing in this particular uh, and then the forces uh, for the members I want a moment so this is exactly how the analysis in Revit structure will do so hope you have enjoyed this small session of linking robust structural analysis with Revit structure and the fantastic application exchange application of toolkit 2014 brought by Autodesk this presentation is an initiative for all the budding engineers and the BIM experts in order to know how the analysis is done through Robo in Revit 2014 thank you once again thanks for being with us in this short blog tutorial hope you have enjoyed thank you